In the night sky, there's a place where your eyes can reach beyond our galaxy. It's not a star. It's not a planet. It's something much larger. That faint smudge of light belongs to the Andromeda galaxy, the nearest spiral galaxy to our own. You don't need a telescope to see it. Just a dark sky, a clear night, and a moment of stillness. Andromeda has been known to sky watchers for centuries, but what it truly is took much longer to understand. Today, we know it's more than a curious spot in the sky. It's a vast system of stars, gas, and dark matter. A galaxy with its own story. Its official name is Messier 31, or M31, but most people simply call it Andromeda, named after a mythological princess and the constellation in which it appears. Andromeda matters not because it's beautiful, but because it's close, close enough to observe in great detail, close enough to change how we understand galaxies and even the future of our own. In this video, we'll explore what Andromeda is, how we discovered it, what lies inside, and what's coming next. Because this galaxy isn't standing still, and neither are we. Hello and welcome. I'm Orion, coming to you from Infinite Universe NTH. There's a whole universe out there, and we'd love to explore it with you. Don't forget to subscribe. At the start of the 20th century, humanity believed the Milky Way was the entire universe. Every star, every cloud of light, all of it was thought to belong to a single, all-encompassing galaxy. But in the 1920s, a young astronomer named Edwin Hubble pointed one of the most powerful telescopes of the time toward the object we now call Andromeda. What he saw would change the map of the cosmos. Inside that faint blur of light, Hubble identified key-fied variable stars, stars that pulsate in a predictable way, allowing astronomers to calculate their distance. When he did the math, he found something unexpected. Andromeda wasn't inside the Milky Way. It was far beyond it. It was its own galaxy. This single discovery shattered the idea of a one-galaxy universe. It meant that the cosmos was much larger than anyone had imagined and that our galaxy was just one among many. Andromeda was the first galaxy proven to exist beyond the Milky Way, but it wasn't the last. That moment opened the door to billions more. Before Hubble, the universe was a quiet neighborhood. After Andromeda, it became an endless ocean. From a distance, Andromeda appears as a delicate blur in the night sky. But the closer we look, the more massive and complex it becomes. The galaxy stretches across more than 220,000 light years, making it at least twice as wide as the Milky Way. If you placed it in the same position as our galaxy, it would completely engulf us, spilling far beyond the edges of every star we know. Inside, astronomers estimate that around one trillion stars fill its disk, four times the number in the Milky Way. That includes stars at every stage of life, hot, young blue stars in the spiral arms, aging red giants drifting near the center, and stars not unlike our sun, scattered across the galactic disk. Its shape follows the familiar pattern of a barred spiral galaxy, a central bulge sits at the core where a supermassive black hole resides, millions of times more massive than the sun. From there, spiral arms curve outward lined with glowing gas clouds and newborn stars. These arms are like highways of stellar activity, stretching across tens of thousands of light years. Andromeda's structure is clean, elegant, and highly detailed. It allows astronomers to study everything from galactic rotation curves to star formation zones without the visual obstacles we face 
when observing our own galaxy from within. Even farther out, long streams of stars stretch into space. These faint trails are the remains of smaller galaxies that have collided with Andromeda in the past. Over billions of years, Andromeda has absorbed these systems, tearing them apart and folding their stars into its growing structure. Andromeda isn't a static image in a textbook. It's a galaxy in motion, building itself over time, piece by piece. Every cluster of stars, every ripple in its spiral arms, and every faint stream of stellar debris tells a story. It's not just a galaxy, it's a layered history, still unfolding, still changing, still reaching across space. Andromeda is not standing still. Like every galaxy in the universe, it's moving, carried by gravity and cosmic momentum across the fabric of space. Right now, it's heading toward us. The Milky Way and Andromeda are on a collision course, approaching each other at a speed of about 110 kilometers per second, roughly 400,000 kilometers per hour. That's fast enough to cross the distance from Earth to the Moon in under an hour. But space is vast, and the galaxies are far apart. This colossal meeting won't happen tomorrow or next century. It's expected to occur in about 4 billion years. When it does, the event will unfold slowly by human standards over the course of several hundred million years. From Earth, if it still exists, the night sky will change dramatically. The bright disk of Andromeda will grow larger with each passing eon, eventually filling the sky with a breathtaking view of swirling stars. As the galaxies draw closer, gravitational forces will begin to distort their shapes. Spiral arms will twist. Gas clouds will crash. New stars will be born from the turbulence. Despite the scale of the event, the chances of individual stars colliding are extremely low. The space between stars is so vast that most will simply pass by one another. But their paths will shift, reshaped by gravity, like dancers pulled into new patterns. Eventually, the two galaxies will merge into a single, larger, elliptical galaxy, a new home often referred to as Milkomeda or Milkdromeda. What will that galaxy look like? We don't know for certain, but it will be quieter, with less star formation and more ancient stars drifting through a settled structure, a new chapter in galactic evolution. This collision isn't a disaster, it's a continuation. Galaxies have been merging since the early universe. It's how they grow, change, and become what they are. And in four billion years, it will be our turn. Andromeda is a giant. It holds around a trillion stars and likely billions of planets. Some of those planets could be warm, rocky, and stable enough to support life, just like Earth. We haven't seen them yet. They're too far. But based on what we've learned from our own galaxy, it's entirely possible that somewhere in Andromeda, life has already emerged. Maybe it's simple. Maybe it's advanced. Maybe it's intelligent. If that's true, then right now, across the gulf of space, another civilization could be asking the same questions we do. They may have mapped the Milky Way. They may have noticed us, and they may know what's coming. In about four billion years, our galaxies will merge, not in an instant, but over hundreds of millions of years. Plenty of time for destruction, yes, but also for possibility. What if life survives on both sides? What if, when stars and planets settle into their new orbits, two civilizations find themselves sharing a galaxy? It wouldn't be like meeting a neighbor next door. Distances would still be vast. But with time, contact could happen. Maybe they'll send messages. Maybe they'll exchange knowledge, science, art, memory. 
Maybe they'll help each other survive longer, think deeper, grow faster. Maybe they'll plant trees on each other's worlds, build bridges between their stars, not to conquer, but to understand, not to rule, but to connect. And someday, someone, not human, not Andromedan, but something new will look up at two merged skies and say, we came from both. We call it Andromeda. To the naked eye, it's just a faint smudge in the sky, quiet, distant, barely there. But behind that blur is a world of motion, complexity, and light. It's not just another galaxy, it's a mirror across time. Studying Andromeda teaches us about more than stars and gravity. It shows us how galaxies grow, how they change, and how, eventually, they come together. It reminds us that the universe is not frozen. It's alive. Everything we see is in motion, drifting, dancing, evolving, including us. Andromeda is a reminder that our story doesn't end here. Billions of years from now, the Milky Way will not exist in the same way. But its stars, and maybe its people, will still be part of something. A new galaxy, a new shape, a new chapter. Whether or not we meet anyone out there, whether or not we survive that long, the very act of looking up connects us to something bigger. So tonight, if the skies are clear, find a dark place, look east. And if you're lucky, you might just spot a faint blur of light, not far from the constellation Cassiopeia. That's Andromeda, a galaxy 2.5 million light years away, on its way to becoming our future. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I'm Orion, and this is Infinite Universe NTH. If this journey made you think, feel, or simply wonder, please consider subscribing to support the channel. There are more questions waiting, and together, we'll keep searching.